Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Ikra Hafiz and you're watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look at the Kashmir news. In their latest act of state terrorism in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Indian troops martyred two Kashmiri youths in a fake encounter in Budgam district. During the search and cordon operation, the soldiers stopped a vehicle at the main square near the courts in the district. The soldiers killed the youths in the vehicle by shooting them. The local people have told the media that the youths were shot and killed by the soldiers without justification. Dr. Farooq Abdullah, President of the National Conference in Jammu and Kashmir, which is illegally occupied by India, has said that the fascist Indian government has been trying to divide the people of Jammu and Kashmir since the dawn of time and in the current era. These nefarious efforts are accelerating. Talking to various public delegations at the party headquarters in Sirinagar, Farooq Abdullah said that in order to thwart these nefarious efforts of the Modi government, Kashmiris should further promote unity and harmony in their ranks regardless of religion, nationality, color, race and language. We'll have to give. He said that maintaining the identity, unity and harmony of Jammu and Kashmir is a matter of life and death for us. And therefore, it is important that we all unite and organize and remain firm and determined in the struggle for our rights. Farooq Abdullah further said that we cannot achieve anything by dividing into factions and groups, so unity and consensus is the only way through which we can reach our destination. Indian police in illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir filed a charge sheet against two Kashmiri youths in a false case filed in 2021. The police filed a charge sheet against Altaf Hussain Shah and Muhammad Qasim in the court of the third additional sessions Judge Jammu. The police have claimed that the two youths were associated with the Mujahideen outfit and had attacked Rumesh Singh's house in Rajuri with a grenade in 2021, killing a three-year-old boy, Veer Singh, and injuring several others. Mehbooba Mufti, head of the People's Democratic Party in Jammu and Kashmir, illegally occupied by India, strongly condemned the forced eviction of Kashmiris for their lands under the new land law saying that the laws around the world are for the welfare of the people. However, the Modi government is making laws to disempower the Kashmiri people and punish them. In a tweet, Mehbooba Mufti strongly condemned the forced eviction of Kashmiri for their lands under the new land laws introduced by the Modi government. He strongly protested against his oppressive law of the Modi government and said that the laws are made for the welfare of the people. But in Jammu and Kashmir, the Modi government is using the laws to disempower the people, insult them and punish them. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.